What is up, good people? What is up? Another day in flatbed heaven. It is cold up here, man. It's cold. Man, I think it's like 30 something right now. It's supposed to get down to like 28 tonight. Man. And then I seen like um like later this week. <laughs> it's still just about to get down to like one degree Fahrenheit. And I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to be long gone by then. <laughs> I don't even want I don't even want to see what that feel like. I I don't have the uh I don't have the proper attire for, for that. I think at about twenty I think I'm good for about 25 degrees. You know, everything got like a rating on it. It's good up to this this degree, you know, and it's good down to this degree. That's kind of like how I am. I'm, I'm probably good to about 25, you know. So anything less than that. And now, nah, man, you got to, you, to uh, you know, when the wind be kind of blowing it like it's so cold, man, it just, it's like, it hurts your face and you just have to move slower because any sudden movements or, or anything could potentially you could hit your hand or something like that and man your hand would be hurting the rest of the day man and i got this pipe and i just i was just thinking i said man when i take these straps off i ain't gonna want to roll up man because it's still gonna be below freezing temperatures tomorrow because I think the high is going to be like 28 tomorrow. So I'm like, man, I don't. Mm -mm. I didn't plan this out right, man. <laughs> I did not. I did not plan this out the way I wanted to plan it out, man. Shoot. Anyway, man, I ain't really got, I don't really have nothing. Today been, it been pretty straight. You know, ain't, ain't nothing really happened. Um... I ended up stopping them probably about, about 90 some miles short. I'm not too familiar with the parking scene going up like 75. So I said, I'll just stop right here. And I'm in a spot to where when I get up in the morning, I'm just going to pull out straight. I'm going to go ahead and get right there. So, so yeah. But I want to tell a story, man. I don't think I've ever told it before. Like the night that I got, I got lost. Now, one thing I remember they told us in in driving school, like when we first was in orientation with TMC, they was like, believe it or not, even with the GPS and map and all that stuff, you will get lost. And you're kind of sitting there like, is this like a, is this a joke or something? Like are y'all like being like, serious like how can you how can you possibly get lost i mean like how but obviously you know being a a greenhorn you know <laughs> you don't know that sometimes the address that is given to you that's not the actual address of the place and it might not even be the address that is even within seven miles of where you need to be at so yeah you can't end up lost but this particular one which it was my fault because the fleet manager sent me the actual address on the Qualcomm but I didn't check it until it was too late so I was going to Memphis and I was going by the directions that they had gave me on the paper so I put it in and I'm riding, I'm riding, I'm riding. I get off a road and I'm like, it says my destination is right up here on the right. So I get up to the, the destination. I'm like, this is a school. So I kind of ride down the road and I'm able to turn around and I look again I said, that's a school. I can't, I can't turn in there. So then, again, me not going to the Qualcomm, I say, okay, let me try the address a different way. Because, you know, sometimes it'll be a situation where, like, it won't be street or something like that. It may be, like, 
um, court or you know circuit or some circle or something like that. So I so I did that. So I'm riding again. I'm in Memphis now, and I'm like, okay, this 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 is like the way right here. This looks. I mean, this looks just like the way. So I get there. The same thing. I'm like, this is this is not the location. This is not the location. So I get back to the school. I said, well, I got to go to the school. So I turn off in there. I drive around the school, and then I realize I'm like, this ain't the location. This, 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 just, this is not the location. So I said, well, forget it. I just drive all the way around the school, and I get back out there. I get to the back of the school, it's a fence. You can't drive all the way around the school. I said, man, what am I gonna do? So I call the Memphis PD. I say, hey, I'm at such and such school. I'm stuck. I can't get out. They send two squad cars, but it was three officers. A black dude, black female, and white guy. So they directed me, right? And so, like, the black officer, he's being, like, a little uptight. He's like, they need to hurry up, man. We got we got better things to do. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, brother, if y'all have better things to do, why are three of y'all here? If you have better things to do, why are three of y'all here? Two of y'all can leave. I just need one person to help me back up. So I get around. And so uh, so the female officer, she like, man, you can't back up any better than this. Said, I used to bag up like the little, the little smaller trailers. And I know they were harder to bag up, you know, than this. And I was sitting there thinking like, you cannot compare a tandem to a split axle. It's not a comparison. I know that in a smaller trailer, you gotta be on top of things a lot more, but with this split axle, I mean, it, it's harder to back. So I disregard what she's saying. You know, I'm not even, I'm not even trying to explain to her the difference between a tandem and a split axle. I'm not. I finally get out of there and I go. So I finally look on the quad come and I'm like, oh, so I should have been over here. So I actually get to the place, big place for me to park, voila. I'm like, man, I could have avoided all of that nonsense. But I mean, you know, it's a, it's a learning experience, you know? And even with me being over here, I got, I'm not going to say I got lost, but I had an over-dependence on, uh, on my GPS. And luckily, I was able to get out of that situation. But, you know, sometimes you just, you get lost, man. You're going to get lost. But the thing about it is, is... <laughs> If you get lost, you just gotta make sure you can um, you can get you know you get somewhere to turn the truck around, or if you can't turn the truck around, you know don't go don't get so don't get so far deep into something to the point that you know even if they call for help, you know there's there's really nothing they can do. And I got one more story because I don't think I told this one either. So I was in Georgia and I had just dropped the load off. And the GPS froze. And so I went through a stop sign and I said, something told me like, you should be making this left right here. This left is gonna take you back out to 75. I didn't take the left, I kept going. Qualcomm unfreezes, GPS unfreezes. And I'm like, Huh? So I get to a subdivision 
So I pull over, like, in the turning lane for the subdivision because they had, like, a little turning lane where you could get off the road and, like, turn off in the... So I'm like, well, I'm going to stop right here. I said, I'm not going to go any further because I was... I had looked at my phone and the, the road that I was going to get to was looking like... was looking like... Like that, like, nah, I, I, ain't even, I ain't even trying to play with that. So I looked down the subdivision. I said, cool, cool, cool. There go a cop car. So I said, I'm going to go down there, and I'm going to get him to help me. Because I was like, all I need for him to do is block traffic on both sides. I can turn into the subdivision because it was subdivisions on, on either side. And I said, I just bagged back because they were the driveways were equal across. So I said, I just bagged back over there, make a right. Go back down to the stop sign, bust the right, boom, I'm out of there. Cool. So, I go down to this unnamed officer's house. <laughs> His police car, the, the one of the back tires was on flat. <laughs> so, I knock on the door. Instantly, I hear a dog start barking. I say, oh. Hoping they one of them situations where when you, because he didn't have a screen door. So I'm like, if you open this door and a dog take off after me, I don't know what I might do. So he opens the door and he just kind of like hesitant. He's like almost frightened. Like, I mean, I I mean, I, I don't know if any black people live in that subdivision. I, I don't know. You know, sometimes they feel like they move so far away, you know, they get away from us. But anyway. <laughs> So I'm like, I don't mean to bother you. I'm being as polite as possible, but I'm I'm not lost, but I need help getting turned around. I'm up at the top of the hill. I just need somebody to stop traffic on both sides so I can pull in the bag back across. So I call the police. Huh? Call the police. So I'm looking. I said, okay, there's a police car. Um, nobody else is here. So obviously you're the police officer and you're telling me to call the police. <laughs> call the police. I said, okay. So I think like the number for the police was on the side of his car. So I said, all right, thank you a lot. He said, no problem. And he shuts the door. And I'm like, my man, I know it's your off day, you know, but you are the police. <laughs> so anyway, I walk back up the hill and I see another police car at another yard. And I said, I ain't trying to get sunned twice. So I, I call the police. And he comes out there. He gets me, you know, straightened up. I bag back across the road and whatnot and and we head on, uh, <laughs> I head on back to 75. And I said, man, the, the truck says, the yeah, SUV says to protect and to serve. You, you didn't serve. I guess that's when they on, I guess that's when they on the clock. <laughs> man, that was a bad, I mean, honestly, that was a bad experience. It's like, I got bagged up, no doubt. But just the 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 extra stuff from hurry up, we got better stuff to do, but it's three of y'all here to this should be a lot easier to bag this trailer up because I used to bag short trailers up. Shut up. And to my man with a police car in the yard telling me, don't talk to me. Call the police. So, yeah, man, that's that's uh, those are my two lost experiences. I have I have others, but those are the only two that come to my mind right now. <laughs> but anyway, I'm about to go in the store, man, and get me a case of water, and uh, I'm gonna get ready to heat my food up in a minute, and I'm gonna chill out. Cause I think I'm gonna get up at about five. It's two hours away, but I want to be there. I want to be there early, so I can at least get the straps and stuff off, get them wound back up, and all that good stuff like that. And um, and we're gonna call it a day, man. 
I got the other the next load I got is going down to Chattanooga. So I'm gonna do that. So anyway, man, y'all be safe and don't get lost.